Hi, I'm Shu Roday, one of the pediatric urologists at Georgia Urology. The birth of a new baby is an exciting time for a family, but when we see something that's not quite right during diaper changes, that excitement can sometimes lead to anxiety. We hope this video helps out in educating and relieving some nerves in parents of boys with unascended testicles, which is one of the most common conditions we see in the pediatric urology clinic at Georgia Urology. So let's start with some numbers. Newborns with undescended testicles occurs in about 4 of every 100 boys. Most of these descend during the first 6 months, and less than 1% of boys have an undescended testicle when they turn 1 year old. So let's rewind a little bit and revisit some events that happened when mom was pregnant. The testicle actually starts in the abdomen. In the third trimester, the testicles start to descend down the abdomen through what's called the inguinal canal and into the scrotum. At any point along this path, the testicle can get held up and is called an undescended testicle. The testicle can be found in the abdomen, the inguinal canal, the high scrotum, the perineum, or any other location in the genital region. Whenever you and your son come to the doctor's office for this problem, we really only have four possibilities during our physical exam. First, the testicle sits in its normal position. Obviously, we don't worry too much about these. Next, the testicle sits a little high, but when the doctor brings the testicle down and it stays down without any tension, this we call a retractile testes, and we don't do any surgery on these either. Next is the possibility that we can feel the testicle, but it's not quite in the right position, and this is a palpable undescended testicle. The last possibility is if we can't feel the testicle in the inguinal canal or the scrotum, and this we call a non-palpable testicle. So why do undescended testicles happen? The short answer is, we don't know for sure. Premature babies, babies with low birth weight, or babies that are small for gestational age have a higher chance of having undescended testicles. In certain syndromes, undescended testicles are more common. Another reason could be an anatomic problem where the structure that normally pulls down the testicle into the scrotum doesn't develop properly or doesn't do its job. Another reason could be a hormone issue that causes one side or both sides not to gum down properly. So why do we care about undescended testicles? The testicles really only have two jobs. First, they make the testosterone and other hormones that allow for proper development into puberty and through adulthood. Second, they provide the place where sperm develop to provide fertility in the future. For the testicles to develop correctly, they have to be at the exact right temperature. If they don't develop in this environment, their function could be impaired. If a normal testicle is present on the other side, then the paternity rate is about the same as it is in the general population. If both testicles are undescended, that rate drops to about 60%. Another reason why we worry about undescended testicles is the risk for cancer in the future. Testicular cancer is rare, occurring in 6 of every 100,000 males. In an undescended testicle, there's an increased risk of testicular cancer, and ultimately, if all testicular cancers diagnosed, 11% will originate in an undescended testicle. Surgery done after puberty has a cancer rate twice as high as surgery done prior to puberty. So how do we treat an undescended testicle? Unfortunately, there's no medication that we can give to fix this problem. The surgery to treat an undescended testicle, or an orchidopexy, is highly dependent on the exam done by the pediatric urologist in clinic. Most pediatric urologists agree that an ultrasound is not needed at the time of your clinic visit, and actually recommend against getting ultrasounds. If we are able to feel a testicle in a clinic, the surgery involves making a small incision in the groin or in the scrotum and bringing it down to the lowest point in the scrotum. If we are unable to feel the testicle, we may need to proceed with laparoscopy. This is where we make a small incision in the belly button, put a small camera through the belly button to look for the testicle inside the abdomen. Regardless of location, if the testicle appears healthy, we'll try to bring it down into the scrotum. However, if it looks unhealthy, we would take out that testicle. So when do we do surgery? If the testicle hasn't come down by six months, it will probably not come down spontaneously. We recommend surgery between 6 and 12 months. This will allow for spontaneous descent of the testicle, safety from anesthesia, and to preserve future fertility. Usually, this is a day surgery, and you will be discharged the same day. Recovery is dependent on the age that surgery is done, and might be a little bit longer for older boys. We hope this video has given you a little background about undescended testicles. Every child is a little different, and if you or your son are concerned that you might have this condition, we recommend seeing a pediatrician 
or come and see us. We're happy to help out in any way we can.